So in this video, I'm going to talk about the this variable and why people ask you about it, like in JavaScript interview questions. So essentially, this is pretty much the scope or the current context for the um, you know function or object that you're working in in JavaScript. Um, you can think of scope as kind of like the current working area for where you are in in your project. So, for example, um, you know something that I tell my students obviously a lot is that um, you know when they go to Starbucks uh, and they order a drink, you know any drinks on the menu, all those drinks are global to Starbucks because. Starbucks is a brand that is internationally recognized. So every time they come out with a new drink, uh, that drink is available everywhere globally. So if you were to think of the top level object for Starbucks, Starbucks would be the global object, the national chain, international chain actually. Uh, but you know, let's say a local Starbucks decided to make you know a special kind of coffee. Sometimes when you visit different Starbucks. Like lately, I went to India, and I visited the Starbucks in Bombay or Mumbai. Um, there was, you know, um, there were some cups and coffee cups that were local to India. Um, so I have this coffee mug that says Starbucks India on it. And before I also went to Starbucks in Japan in Kyoto, and I got a Kyoto coffee mug. So like that, I kind of go around the world collecting. Uh, Starbucks coffee cups from different cities uh, <laughs> to remind myself that scope is different for different Starbucks. So I hope you kind of get the example as cheesy as that sounds. Like you can have local scopes and you can have global scopes. Remember, global available everywhere, local, local to that one um, particular Starbucks, or in the instance of this code, local to your function or object. Now, the reason this is confusing is because. It doesn't work like programming languages um, in PHP or Ruby on Rails or you know some of the other stuff like Python. Um, uh, this is pretty different in JavaScript. There are actually four different types of this variables. Um, so we're gonna go over each one real quick. So the first one, if you say console.log this, then by itself this refers to the top level object. And by default, that is the window. So if I say console.log this equals window, I'm going to make this triple equals because we want to make sure that this is a um, not only a comparison on value but type. If I save this and I open this in my browser and I right click here and I inspect, I see that the statement is true. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and see that on line 11, this is equal to the window. And of course, here's the window. And of course, I'm going to open this here. If you look at window and you check all of the different things inside the window, you'll see we have you know all these um, you know uh, constructor functions. Then we have down here, um, you know some of the more common things on the window. Like the alert method, um, we have you know the blur, the Chrome object because we're working in Chrome. Uh, we also have the window's inner height and inner width. You can see that my inner width is 1250. So if I said this dot inner width over here, this time I'll change it to this dot inner width, and I'll save. If I refresh, you see I get 1250. So you can see that this by itself is referring to the window. So when you are working within JavaScript, remember this is always the top level object unless you change it. The second way, so this is step one for this, so default, by default, okay, here we go. So number two, in an object, okay, so you may or not know what objects are, but by default, let's say that you are using objects and you're using this. I'm going to make an object here. I'm going to say var obj is equal to an object with this notation. 
and then I'm just going to give obj dot um, let's see here uh, print equals a function and I'll just say console log this okay so now what would you expect this to be inside my object would you expect it to be the window or something else so let's go ahead and console dot log obj dot print and I'm going to call this because this is a function declaration but nothing gets called until we call using these parentheses. So save and I'll refresh and now let's see if I go over to uh, line 22 I get an undefined because that's part of the console returning nothing. However if I go to line 19 uh, you'll see that instead of window I have the object and I have the print method. So in this case in my second case by default this is equal to the object so object's name which would be obj so or obj which was just an object right it's equal to an object at this point um, and if I there's a third way I can use constructors so we call this an object instance actually And over here, we say for constructors, if you've ever used a constructor before, we'd use the function keyword first, then we would name the type of object we want to create, we'll just say animal. And I'll just go ahead and say this dot name equals bb. And this dot print is equal to, all right, we'll just say it. Animals can say stuff, so this dot say, hi, my name is and by the way Stevie could be an animal because humans are animals just in case you were thinking that Stevie wasn't an animal's name by the way I need to make this a function otherwise it's going to print out nothing um, by default I would have to actually access it but that would be okay too um, but I'd like it to just be a little bit more user friendly okay so now when I'm referring to this, what am I actually referring to inside of a construct? Well, I'm referring to the object instance that will get created. So let's go ahead and create a new animal. So I'll say var um, any, any one, or I'll just say animal lowercase, it's more easy to remember, is equal to a new animal. And then we'll go ahead and console log animal dot say. So refresh, and there it goes. Here, my name's hi, my name's Stevie. Oh, but we also need to know what this is. So let's go ahead and say console.log this. Okay, refresh. Okay, now you see that this has been changed to an animal. So uh, in this context here, when we use the new keyword, ref the this value will refer to the animal constructor. So um, the object that it gets created is of type animal um, as opposed to type object. That can be a little confusing to some people. So, but to kind of recap, we have this, which is the global object, then we have this inside of an object instance. And then, of course, when we create objects with constructors, that's what constructors are used for, the um, actual this value belongs to the constructor's um, you know, name, but you know, that would be the object instance. So animal.say would refer to animal. This is basically what we call the prototype here, or not prototype, but blueprint. Um, I don't want to get into prototypes right now, but like just so you have this at the moment, this constructor is basically um, of type animal. So in this case, this is animal. So finally, I'll do um, the final way to use this. So you can use apply and call methods to set the value of this. Okay. Um, so for example, let's say I have a function, and I have a function that, um, let's say it just um, changes a score. Okay. So we'll just say this dot score plus plus. Okay. 
So by itself, if I ran this function change score in what's the head you know console log this dot score, uh, if I run this function and refresh here, uh, see that I get back. Did it save here? I don't think it saved. Okay, let me save first. If I refresh. Okay, it says change score is not defined. Okay, let me see. No, oh, because it's changes score. Okay, refresh. You see, I get back not a number. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's make uh, a score. So we'll say this dot score is equal to one. And we refresh this. Okay, so now it's two. So when you're talking about this, remember this is the window. By default, I didn't have a score. So when I ran this function, it said not a number because there was no value in here. That's why I had to write the score. It's the same if I wrote window.score equals one. Or if I said var score is equal to one. You can see that all of these are pretty much the same. In fact, I will go ahead and just make that one. I'll make this two and we'll refresh. And you'll see that I get three because this overwrites this one with two. And of course I have changed it. Um, that's great and all, but you know, like, Again, if I wanted to console log the value of this, we are trapped to the window. What if I want to set the value of this to something else? Well, there's a special way to do that. I can use the apply method. So I'm going to go back to my animal here, and I'm going to say animal has a score, score, and I'll say by default it's zero. Then I'm going to use the apply method, and this is available on all functions because apply and call um, functions are also objects in JavaScript, and I know that can be kind of confusing, but um, everything in JavaScript is an object, but then everything also has function scope. So if this gets tricky for you, just remember that the most important thing to take away from that is that this value can actually be changed um, using the apply function, because the apply function is built in. It comes from actually the prototype, which is what I didn't want to explain, but um, I guess I will if I have time. Otherwise, you can check out the next video I'll put out on prototypes. Um, but essentially, change is score. So I guess I'll explain it now because you know, like this is kind of something that's bothering me for this video. But um, you know, when you create the animal constructor, um, by default, it also gets something called a prototype in addition to all of these um, this variables here. So you have the ability to add extra features to the animal constructor on every object instance. And those extra features can be set using a prototype. So if I said um, animal.prototype. Um, say name backwards. And I'm just going to hard code this for now. So this say name bad words would be added to animal.say even though we didn't put it in our constructor. This is like extra functionality. And we can just go ahead and type this here. I'll go ahead and copy this and paste it here. And I'll say say name backwards. Okay. So if I refresh here, you can see I say hi my name is Stevie and say name backwards. Okay, so because we added that here, um, if we look at changes score dot prototype, and let's console log that. And refresh here, you'll see I get back an object, and of course a constructor. And there's some. Let's see here. If I click on prototype object, and I look at some of these methods here. Ah, uh, this one function scope. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I had to go down a couple levels. Uh, it's always confusing for code people, but it's good to learn. So you'll see that we have this underscore underscore proto underscore underscore, and this basically is the prototype for you know Chrome. This is how they do it. But essentially, if you look at 
our function is part of the our function changes for is a function first off but however it also is an object that's why it says that here and so in its prototype it has um, you know a couple methods in here um, and I think oh, did I just close it yeah I did okay so inside its prototype uh, we have another proto which gives us this apply method and also the call method so that's how I'm able to use the apply method here which is what I'm about to do so if we use changes score dot apply and we call it on our animal object by default if you don't call it on an object this there's two parameters here um, or two arguments if you don't pass in an argument you just put null or undefined it will apply this function or call this function essentially changes score the same thing as writing changes score like this it will just call it and the stuff that you're trying to do will get added to the windows score so we don't want to do that we don't want to put it on undefined or null what we want to do is we want to set it to an object so we're going to set it to the animal object instance that we had up here and we're just going to um, let's see here we'll just go ahead and just put an empty array for now actually I'm going to use call as opposed to apply so I'll just put call on the animal and then I'll just pass in like this so now that will call this function and then it will console log this so let's go ahead and see what happens here if I refresh uh, change score not defined so let's do that correctly changes score let me also comment this out and we're getting an empty space right now it says changes score is not defined um, let's just go ahead and copy it here okay yeah because I had the scores okay that was why all right so now you can see that line 49 here basically console logs this and we get the correct context of this it is no longer the window it is the animal and that's exactly what we wanted to do so this is a long video but just like I said you know like in interviews some people will ask you what is this so if you had to explain what it was this remember talks about different levels of scope and then you know by default the default scope is the top level object which is window in the browser if you're using node.js which I'll just do really briefly I'll just go to my terminal and type node and then I say console.log this then you'll see that the global object here is actually the node.js let's see um, the node.js object um, it is not the it is not the browser so I'm going to control C to exit uh, so you'll have to remember that when you're working in node.js however for a browser your this variable is basically the window and that's by default however when you're working within an object your object this value is now belongs to the object and then of course when you're inside a constructor then it belongs to the constructor don't forget a pro about prototypes prototypes add extra functionality to our existing constructor and constructed objects so even though I create an animal down here with this new keyword later on I have the ability because I added to the prototype to say the name backwards and that's the same thing here when you said call call is built in to the function to all functions because all functions are objects as we saw and when I create a function called changes score when I apply or call this method by default it applies to the window score if it's not there we'll get not a number however if I want to set the value of this then that's how I would use call and the call method would allow me to change the value of this from window to whatever I want whatever object I want so four different ways to use this um, if it's not clear try to check out this video again and try to get your mind around it um, once you get the hang of it though it's pretty straightforward and um, you know like once you are do a lot of programming practice and you use this a lot in its different um, contexts you'll see that it's not so hard um, so good luck